Hey guys, Steel Web on here. Today I wanted to do a video on how you can do two super easy finishes um, on a very low budget um, at home for your folding knives. So the first one, uh, oftentimes you guys will see that uh, knife makers will do a sandblast, uh, kind of stonewashed sandblast finish. Um, you know, the sandblast being like what Chris Reeves has on Chris Reeve, there's no S on there. Uh, does on his knives um, and then you stone wash that and you get something that you know looks similar to this this is that finish is a speed blast and sand blast uh, stone wash finish um, on that handle there um, so the way you can kind of cheaply uh, mimic this it's not going to be exactly the same um, but what you can do is you can take uh, this stuff which is uh, rust and stain remover by winks um, or wink um, and anyway so what you do is you're gonna take the part has to be titanium so you know check it with a magnet um, if your handles titanium um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape off with uh, nail polish so any of the parts that you don't want to be uh, eaten by this acid it will eat the titanium somewhat um, so like around the bushings and uh, anywhere you're gonna have bearings that are gonna be uh, anywhere that interfaces with the blade, like a detent track. Um, so any of that, you're going to want to mask off just using regular nail polish, make sure it's dried. Then what you're going to do is you're going to clean it off with lacquer thinner um, or an equivalent cleaner. And then you're going to dunk it in this stuff. Usually what I do is like uh, 10 second or 5 second intervals, and you can pull it out, um, rinse it with water, and see how it looks. Uh, Windex also is good. You can hit it with Windex. It will neutralize the acid um, and then r rinse it with water. Um, but you'll see, first off, if there's any sort of anodizing on the titanium, it'll strip that right off. Um, and then it will leave this kind of matte, matte gray finish, as you can see on this whole haptic here. Um, right there. Yep. So, and I mean, this one's been, has some dings in it from carry. You can see it easily scuffs up. Uh, once it's been uh, put in the winks. <clears throat> then what you do, at least what I do, on the budget, I don't have a tumbler. I throw some, you know, gravel stones in a pint paint container here, or a quart paint container, and I just, you know, a little bit of elbow grease, shake it up, and uh, this is, you know, the finish that I was able to get on the handles of this uh, Dog Bite 3.1 Battle Song. So that looks very similar to a, so this is a bead blast stone wash, and this is my Winx stone wash finish. Almost identical, and you don't have to have a multi hundred dollar, uh, you know, air compressor. You don't have to have a sandblaster kit. You don't have to have a sandblaster booth. All of those are hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, to do, and you can refinish it as many times as you need. Uh, as it starts looking crappy, or if it, the knife is going to be in a configuration that you dislike. Um, this one was anodized green. Uh, the green kind of got boring for me. I tend to like plain tie stone washed is my favorite finish. Um, so that's why I did it on this guy. So that's a, a great use for the, you know, Winx. I call it the Winx stone wash finish. Um, I've done it several times, really enjoyed it. This one, I just left the plain Winx. So I'm going to let it pocket wear. But I, you know, may wind up just tumbling it too. I don't know. Um, but it, it works pretty good. Um, and is, I think a bottle of Winx is probably like 20 bucks or something or less. So that, if you're into modding um, and trying different stuff out with your knives, that could be a really fun project uh, to change things up. So on the other hand, um, this is ferric chloride, uh, the acid stone wash for blades. Um, there are several different types of acid you can use. Um, I think muric acid is maybe for more like carbon steel and whatnot. I could be totally speaking out of turn, but that's another one of the ones I've heard. This is ferric chloride. Um, this is what I've used uh, in my time. I just throw it in like a steel mason jar or a glass mason jar um, and pretty much the same deal. You take the blade, you're going to mask off any of the uh, like bearing tracks. You're going to mask off the lock interface uh, with nail polish. Anything that you don't want to be eaten by the acid, uh, paint with nail polish, make sure it's dried well. 
Um, and before that, I forgot to say, clean the whole blade off very well with lacquer thinner. Wear gloves, don't, don't touch the blade after you've done that, um, or it will leave marks. Um, so clean the blade off, handle with gloves, uh, then you're going to nail polish off your areas, and then just dump it in the acid um, for, really you're going to have to monitor it. Uh, it changes depending on the steel. Um, I don't remember exactly how long this one took, um, but you do that. Um, until you have the desired finish that you want and then chuck it in the old elbow grease stone washer there and uh, this is the result I got so this is a tough nice custom uh, mini switch or uh, Corsair excuse me I have, I have had a switch too um, but uh, this one had a this same blade finish but it had a satin flat and I just wasn't into that um, I you know I have been getting away from any of the sort of satin uh, finished blades unless it's for a very specific purpose. Um, so I did a full stone wash on this and I have a sharpening rod that I can sharpen this recurve. So I figured why not? Um, did that and this is the result that I got. You can see this one's a pretty dark one um, and I took a while with the stone washer so it looks really aggressive. It's got that really cool kind of Boba Fett, you know, patinaed metal look uh, really really cool i love this finish i think it it looks great it hides wear um i know a lot of guys kind of scoff at it but i i'm still in the phase in my you know where i i like it um and then this pivot was shiny uh i think it was shiny steel um but what you can do with this um is you can also i threw that in the acid too um and i think it must have been either a different type of steel or titanium i actually forget i think it might have been titanium and i threw that in the winks um, but i did refinish that too just to give it a more matte uh, finish and that's something you can mess around with too like pivots um, if you're not sure check it with a magnet um, if it's uh, titanium throw it in the, in the uh, winks and if it's steel throw it in the uh, ferric chloride i've done uh, on my zt562 uh, the pivot is stainless steel so I did the same kind of acid wash on the blade, and then I also did it on the pivot. Uh, so that's that's just what I... So this has got to be titanium, actually, that I put in the winks and then stone washed. A little deductive reasoning here on the Steel One channel. All right, and then here's a another one. Uh, this is the one that I made, um, the medium duty. So what I did with this one, same deal. Uh, it had a two-tone blade. I left the flat satin, and I just, you know, I like the full, you know, acid stone wash also. Um, you can kind of see it in this light, but in person you can't even see it. This little mark here, uh, when I sent it to Peter's heat treat, they tried to straighten the blade on this, um, which it just must have warped during the quench. Uh, it's pretty standard. But it, they heated it up really uh, hot at the spine, and it left that kind of ring there, which didn't really go away. Um, so I had trouble finishing it before um, with just the acid. I just dipped the whole thing in acid, and then I did a pass for the bevels and left them satin. Um, but what I found is with a stone wash, it hides those marks so much better. And I just kind of like the look of it with that shred carbon fiber. I think it looks, looks super badass. Um, so that was one of the reasons I did that uh, with this guy. So yeah, those are, those are the two super easy finishes you can do on pretty much any knife. Um, if you're looking around and you find... Oftentimes you'll find knives that are on the second hand, they've been used, um, and they're kind of scratched up, they're trashed, um, and they're often for really good prices. You know, they'll say, oh yeah, you got to send it to the spa or whatever. Um, well, in this scenario, you can refinish handles um, to look like that stone washed uh, or this kind of matte gray, and you can refinish blades with an acid stone wash, you know, if they're already acid stone washed, or you just like that, um, either or. So this is a great way to uh, circumnavigate, having to send it in, all that. Um, just, I mean, so you guys are aware, it will probably void your warranty for most of these knives. Uh, this one happens to be the exception. Um, this is a full custom knife uh, by Jeff Tough Thumbs, uh, Jeff Blavelt. Um, and I, I just texted him, I was like, hey, I'm, I'm refinishing this, uh, this blade here. Um, everything went back together great. You know, it turned out perfectly. I didn't dick anything up. And he was like, ah, oh, great. Hey, that's, that's fine. Just so long as I don't have to do it. Um, so, and, and, uh, 
So I wouldn't recommend this if you screw it up and then they have to fix, you know, on a custom knife. That's generally why it is out of warranty um, if you disassemble or modify your knives. But in this case, I mean, Jeff literally built his business off of modifying um, production knives. So I don't think he had a problem with it at all. So I think that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, let me know if these uh, things work. I mean, I probably could have showed you guys how to do it instead of explaining it. Um, but it's such a simple concept. I really don't think it's uh, think it's necessary to, to show you how. Plus, there's other videos on it if you really want. But this is just how I've done it um, and how I will continue to do it. Um, unless maybe I get a sandblaster. Um, but, but that's probably not for a very, very long time. All right. Hope you guys liked the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.